So right now I have a call of um, Officer Robertson from the Overwatch to cry, see the minister there, and he's going to give us a few words about these scenarios. Let us all say amen. Amen. Oh, you can say amen again. Amen. Amen. We need to just salute Sister Dorothy Wells. Can you give us a call? And they always do a wonderful job. But you know, we have to remember that God is good. Yes, is. is that right, church? Yes, it is. Can you say it with me? God is good yes, is. all the time. All the time. And all the time. God is good. God is good. Yes. And as I tell my folk in Philadelphia, even when you think God is not being good, He is still good. Yes, Amen. Amen. God is always good. We are here to. Uh, share with this great church and we want to first of all thank brother Paul Hubbard we, we thank the great minister of this congregation uh, for his leadership and his ability yes. and allowing the Eastern heirs to come and to just be a part of this youth forum program and we pray for the church here as well as for brother Hubbard and his wife and may the Lord continue to bless them and guide them as they continue to minister on this side of the globe. Yeah. Sister Dorothy Wells, her love for young people influenced her, influenced the work from her Campfire Girls, her Parent-Teacher Association, and her volunteer work in the public school system for over 40 years, and her love for music involving and directing the Eastern Age. Sister Wells is, and it, it, it just gives me a lot of joy. I, I cannot say how elated I am to just be affiliated with Sister Dorothy Wells. Yeah. I, I've known her husband, Dr. Wells, great gospel pioneer preacher, many years. But to be in the area where I'm so close to Sister Wells, and to see her perform with these young people is just magnificent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we are to just thank her for the love that she has for young people, the discipleship, the mentorship, yeah. the relationship, the love that she shares with these young people. And I'm very proud to also say that Sister Wells, my daughter sings with you. Marjorie, and, and, and it's something we just thought about for years, about children growing up and being a part of the Eastern Ears. But it was in 1969 that Sister Wells founded a chorus composed of young people from over some 13 congregations in the Northeast, from Newark, New Jersey, Harlem, New York, Brooklyn, New York, Morristown, New Jersey, Mount Vernon, and Huntington, New York. These young people were brought together and they were developed by Sister Wells as a choral group so that they might have cooperation and a relationship of sing singing together with the resident ministers of the Churches of Christ supporting them. And I think that's something that we always must remember, that all of our ministries are under the paradigm and the auspices of the churches of Christ. Can you say amen? amen. We are the church of Christ, mm -hmm. and we continue to be under the authority of the church of Christ and support the church of Christ. Amen. The Eastern Heirs group consists of youth, ranging from the ages of 13 to 25. In over 20 years, the congregations of the Churches of Christ throughout the Northeast have been represented and they have traveled some 30 states in the continental United States. The Eastern Airs have performed at national and area-wide youth conferences, national and state lectureships, youth rallies, homecomings, and many other gospel ministries for the Churches of Christ. And we, the Philadelphia youth, we were a part of the Eastern Airs at David Lipscomb in Nashville, Tennessee, as a part of the youth conference. 
and to see all of the voices of the Eastern airs and to have them perform was just outstanding. And they did a marvelous and wonderful job. And we like to share uh, with our youth that when we fail to make deposits, we fail to get returns. And I believe that all of the Eastern airs, that they are these young people that are making a deposit and they are getting returns. Well. There are some 1,300 alumni of the Eastern Airs. Isn't that something? Yeah. 1,300 of the alumni that are a part of the Eastern Airs over these 40 years that Sister Wells has been directing the Eastern Airs. The 1990s saw the addition of the children of the first Eastern Airs and the grandchildren of the first parents and the counselors. And then the Eastern Airs is not just a group, but they are more than a choral group. They are a ministry. Yeah. They are a family. And when you see these young people and you see the counselors and the supporters and the workers and the way that they rally around Sister Wells, it's amazing. I wish we could have more of that camaraderie and relationship even among the churches of Christ. Somebody ought to say amen. Many of our youth from the Eastern Airs, over 95% of them, that they go on to matriculate at colleges, universities, working on their undergrad and higher grad degrees. Many of these young people that you see here, they are off the streets. They are not doing the drugs. They are following their parents. They are being obedient. Well, they are listening to their ministers and their elders and their pastors. They are going to school. They are doing that which is right. They are making deposits. And therefore, they are getting returns. I am just elated. It gives me a lot of joy to introduce to you all the electrifying Eastern Airs under the direction of Sister Dorothy Wells. Oh, yeah. Let's give her some love. Oh, Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh-huh.